Ruben, coming here, the, the form Sydney have been in, I, I take it you're pretty satisfied with a point, but maybe playing against them with 10 men for 60 minutes, you feel like that could have been three. Um, yeah, look, obviously they're a top team. Um, they're in form, like you say. Um, we came here with a game plan you know, to get the ball down and be really brave in a in a tough situation and I was super proud of how well we played in that first, you know, 25, 30 minutes until the red card. I thought we were clearly the better team, you know, in every facet, to be honest. And, um, you know, the, I gave the boys a challenge and some and some things to play through. You know, their press has been a lot of talk about their press. Um, and the first 30 minutes was really enjoyable to watch. Um, it kind of shows what the group's capable of. Um, and my overwhelming emotion at the moment is, is really proud of the group. Obviously, I've been at the club six weeks and uh, we're already cramming a lot of information trying to trying to get our model into the guys and uh, I can tell you playing against 10 men is not something we've uh, we've been working on so there are massive areas to improve obviously disappointed we didn't get the, the three points but we move forward what's this do for, for you in a, a good run of form and you come down here and they've been playing that well you can point to this and say look we can hold our gloves up with some of the but one of the teams playing the best football in the comp it feels at the moment yeah, for sure. I think the beliefs, um, the beliefs definitely there in the group. They've showed a lot of character. Um, you know, to come back from one 0 down against ten men's not easy, and uh, they bounce back really quick, which I think shows the resolve in the group and the belief in the group. Um, but the process doesn't change. It's just a, at the moment, it's a, it's a performance improvement process for us, and that's you know, to want to be better every every single time we take the grass, and want to be better every single time we train, and and um, at the moment, the the guys are really sinking their teeth into to what we're laying down and so like I say I'm extremely proud and it's an enjoyable process to be in. I take your point that uh, you were well in the game early on up until the, the red card but did you feel there was a bit of a shift after half time because um, Sydney FC had a few opportunities up until the opener really? Yeah look I think you know you have to give uh, credit to Sydney as well like they're a well coached unit and they have some uh, some of the most expensive players in the league and their front four are clinical and um and the credit belongs to them as well at the start of the second half. I really thought they were on the front foot with 10 men and they were really pushing and um, that's what good teams do. And, um, but again, for us, um, it, was a, it was a new challenge in a situation that we hadn't worked on this week. And um, that, that situation playing against 10 men and a 4-3-2, there's some intricacies to, to ha how to do that. And um, it was clear that we lack in those areas. So that's, again, another area for us to focus on and improve. But the character, um, some of the passages we played, we created more than enough chances to win the game. Like, and I'm not talking about shots on target. I'm talking about clear openings where the final pass or the final, you know, shot wasn't wasn't at the level that we needed to be to win games. But uh, we created a hell of a lot tonight. How important was it to get that immediate response and with Henry getting that? Uh, I think it was two, three minutes later. Yeah, it's great. It's obviously good for the boys to get something from the game because obviously, um, you know, results can help help spur belief. But um, like I say, they're, they're pretty. The players are disappointed as well in there, and, and that's a good sign. They're, uh, you know, they're down because they they feel it's a game they should have won, and and we missed some opportunities and moments. But that's the way the game works. We have to just go back to the drawing board and keep working and keep improving and showing them, you know, the pathway to becoming a top team. It's been a while since Henry had scored. I think it was way back in November. But what what can he do with this to kind of, uh, you know, add a little bit more of that to his game? Yeah, he he had an injury when I first got to the club. He was injured for a, a bit, and uh, that's given him. You know, to be fair to him, he's been playing with with a with a bit of a niggle. So, um, and that's I think something new for him to be trying to play with a little bit of pain and and manage that. Uh, you know, Monday to Friday on the training pitch. So, you know, I think the last three weeks he's really built into his role in the team. And um, yeah, moments like that are great uh, for the individual because it just you know gives him a little bit more belief that he's on the right track. So, hell of a finish. What's this weekend as well, Ruben? Like results seem to have fallen your way, and you seem to be at the. I know you're in that pack with City, chasing that spot in the top six. How how, how do you kind of approach the next couple of weeks? Because this is where you're going to make or break your season, isn't it? Yeah, look, it is uh, the the season as a whole and the over uh, the overriding goals and ambitions of the group. We haven't spoken about that. Like I said, I've been here six weeks and. Uh, We've been, uh, we've not had the time to sit down and go through those things. What I can tell you is that the group wants to play finals, and uh, they're throwing everything they can at it. Um, I'm not really so focused on other teams uh, at the moment because there's so many areas we need to improve, um, and I'm just going to stay really clear on that with the group and, and, you know, enjoy, enjoy grinding and grafting. There's a lot of hard work that's going on from the group at the moment, and um, you could see there's some glimpses tonight of of what it could look like um, if we get it right.
What do you expect the, uh, the under-23s Asian Cup to, to mean for your sport? Yeah, look, obviously, um, you know, young. I, I mean, I think the first thing that comes to mind is Waters. You know, I'm really, really, really um, proud of the way he's gone about his business with me and um, he's working really hard and obviously had a little niggle this week uh, in his hamstring, hence why he's not here. And if I'm honest, on a selfish note, uh, if he was here, I think we would have won the game because he's got that the Midas touch at the moment. But for him to get rewarded and get caught up into that squad, um, there's a couple of other boys in our squad that I feel, you know, are very close to that. Um, and... Having been a player that's you know been to an Olympic Games before and 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 felt how it really spurred my career on from that tournament, um, I get I get really excited for the young Australian players. It's a great opportunity, and um, I wish them all the best.